Demo 3.9 Depreciate an Asset In this demo, we will review the steps involved with the depreciation of an asset. Use the SAP Easy Access menu to navigate to the transaction that executes a depreciation run. Alternatively, enter the transaction code AFAB in the command field to directly access the transaction. In this demo, we will use the SAP Easy Access menu to navigate to the desired transaction. First, expand the accounting menu by clicking on the arrow next to the menu label. In the accounting menu, expand the financial accounting menu. In the financial accounting menu, expand the fixed assets menu. In the Fixed Assets menu, expand the Periodic Processing menu. In the Periodic Processing menu, expand the Depreciation Run menu. In the Depreciation Run menu, double-click on AFAB Execute to execute the transaction. The system displays the Depreciation Posting Run screen. For this demo, we will execute a planned depreciation run for all assets in the GBI U.S. Company Code. First, click on the search icon next to the Company Code field to select a company code from a list. The system displays the available company codes. Select US00 Global Bike Incorporated from the list and click the Enter icon. Finally, click on Program in the menu at the top to select how the depreciation run program should be executed. The system displays the available choices. Select the Execute in Background option. The system displays the Background Print Parameters screen. Click on the search icon next to the Output Device field to select where the output should be sent. The system displays a form to search for available output devices. Click on the Enter icon to display all available devices. The system displays the available devices. Select LOCL Default Printer and click on the Enter icon. The system will copy the selected device into the Output Device field. Click on the Enter icon to continue. The system displays a screen to provide additional parameters. This window displays many options for executing the depreciation run. Click on the Date and Time tab. The system displays the selected tab. Click on the calendar icon next to the scheduled start field to provide a start date. The system displays a calendar. Select the desired date and click on the Enter icon. The selected data is copied into the Scheduled Start Date field. Next, click on the Search icon next to the Start Time field. The system displays a screen to specify a time. The current time is displayed. Change the time to the desired start time of the depreciation run. Click on the Enter icon to select the time. Now that we have selected the date and time, Click on the Save icon to save the parameters for the depreciation run. The system now displays a confirmation that the depreciation run has been scheduled. It will then execute the depreciation run at the specified date and time. Demo 3.9 Depreciate an Asset